only manifest what is on the inside of you and what to release from the inside of you. Because there are unlimited echoes of revelation and blessing. Because this is eternity himself. You are renewed daily as you stay in the world. It is the world. The light that lights the hearts of you. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. We welcome you back and thank you for joining us. We declare you are blessed. This broadcast will be blessed. Jesus is Lord. Satan is defeated forever. Thank you, Lord. Now let us pray. Almighty Father, we thank you for this broadcast. We thank you for what you have done this week and the soul that have been saved. We thank you for the blessing upon all those who have watched and who have who yet watched. Father, we declare that God has done all things well. Accept our thanks and praises in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, as we read the word, we call the word blessed. We call the listeners blessed. We call all those involved with the production of this Bible study blessed. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we call your people blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We continue in our series. Of salvation that we've been working on for for the past several for the past week. Now, before we begin, we're going to take a regular scripture. Today we'll be looking at inner personal renewal. Salvation means inner personal renewal. You renew yourself, you renew your mind. So we're going to take a look at it in the few minutes we have today. So let's get going. Shall we open our Bible to the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 18? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and a recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. He anointed Jesus Christ to do all of this. Preach the gospel to the poor so that they will no longer be poor in the spirit. To heal the brokenhearted. To deliver the captives. To give sight to the blind, those who are spiritually blind. And liberty in the year of Jubilee. Praise God. Whatever is on the head is now on the body because we are the body of Jesus Christ, and he is the head. God speaks to us through his word and his action. So what did Jesus do with this anointing? So be ye imitators of God. Let's open our Bible to the book of Acts chapter 10, verse 38. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. That is the secret of power to be anointed by God with the Holy Ghost and with power. And Jesus, what did he do with the anointing? He went about doing good. Who went about doing good? And he did all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. So Jesus used the anointing to destroy all the works of Satan. Praise the Lord. He used that anointing to destroy all the works of Satan. So. That is the will of God. Today, we are going to look at what happens when we get born again, when we receive salvation. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What happened? What does it mean? That means that we have inner personal renewal. You see, you can never become what you want. Never, ever. You only become what comes out of your mouth. And that is coming from the real you, the inner man, the inner person that you know. So you are renewed in your spirit. It takes time for your soul to catch up and to be manifested in your body. Praise the Lord. So let's take some few examples, scriptures on inner personal renewal 
as a result of salvation when you get born again. 1 John chapter 1, verse 17 is our first scripture. Let's go there. The Bible says, But we walk in the light as he is in the light. We have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ has his son cleansed us from all sin. You see, we are renewed. We are filled with the light in the inner man. As you are reading the scripture, you will experience these things because it's real, it's not an abstract. You will experience great lights inside of you. And you know that the Holy Ghost dwells in you. I mean, what, what is this light? Let me show you. In the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, but let's read verse 2. Let's read verse 1 to 3. The Bible says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The Bible says, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Who is that light? That is Jesus Christ. He is the light, the light of men. He has declared him the glory of the Father. That light is now shining in your heart, renewing your inner man. Your spirit, the real you. You are renewed daily as you stay in the world. He is the word. The light that lights the hearts of men is Jesus. So we walk in the light, in the light, because we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus has cleansed out from all sin. So that as you study the scripture, the Lord will open your eyes to see this light. And you will be you know, you will see things in plain sight hidden from you because it has placed the Lord to open you from the inside out. Praise the Lord. These things are encounters. As you read the Bible, you encounter Jesus more and more and you renew your mind daily and you are being transformed in His image daily and growing up in Him. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. What a marvel. He walks on our inside. And that is what now manifests on the outside. So you can never become what you want. You only manifest what is on the inside of you and what to release from the inside with your mouth. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. So let's also look at Psalm 51, verses 1 to 2. So the chief musician is Psalm of David. When Nathan the prophet came unto him, after he had gone into Bathsheba, he had seen darkness now fills his heart. David understood the process and he prayed. Look at that. Have mercy upon me. Jesus is our mercy seated on the mercy seat. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. The blood of Jesus has cleansed us and blotted out our transgression so that now the darkness has fled. Light, great lights, daylight is now showing, showing in our hearts. Praise the Lord. Inner renewal. Inner personal renewal. Benefits of salvation. Also, the book of Hebrews Chapter 1, verse 3. Who be, you see that? We just read it in, Gen in Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. Right here in Hebrews, talking about Jesus. Who being the brightness of his glory. You see that? Shining in our heart. The brightness of the glory of God now do us in us. Hallelujah! What a privilege. Don't take this things for granted. Don't you ever get used to the scripture. Because there are unlimited echoes of revelation and blessing. Because this is eternity himself. Praise the Lord. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. When he had, purged, when he had, when, when he had by himself purged our sins and sat on the right hand of the majesty on high. Because he has purged our sins, we can now see that daylight in our hearts. We are renewed from the inside 
out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus, for all these benefits. Also, the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 19 to 22, finally. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Now we can approach God in light because we are not the saints in light and enter into the throne of his grace. Because there's no more darkness in us. In us. The daylight is not shining in our hearts. But a new and living way. Jesus Christ is a new and living way. You are made new, born of the Spirit and renewed in your mind, which he had consecrated for us through the veil, that is through his flesh, that is to say his flesh. And having an high priest over the house of God, he's a high priest. Who is the house of God? We are his body. What is now on the high priest is flowing through his body, the church. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from evil conscience, from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water, washed by the blood of God. That's the pure water and our heart sprinkled with the blood of Jesus. There's no evil conscience there. We serve God in good conscience. That is the renewal that takes place within your heart, within your heart, the real you, within your spirit, when you get born again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone has been blessed today. These are weighty, 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 weighty issues. Or the benefits of salvation, what Jesus Christ has accomplished for us on the cross of Calvary. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. What can I say? Thank you, Jesus. Let's praise him. Let's say, Father, thank you. Lord, we praise you. We give you praise. We give you praise. Glory be to God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. You may say, Brother Ben, but how can I get this benefit now? How can I renew my mind? How can I receive this inner personal renewal? Good question. I will show you right now. Let's open our Bible to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. And I read, the Bible says, For he said, I've had thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the day, it, it, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Now is the day of salvation. Brethren, don't harden your heart as you have heard this God today. The grace of God that brings you this salvation has appeared to you. The Holy Spirit is ministering to your heart. Receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Believe in his atoning death on the cross. Believe that he is the Messiah, Son of God, <clears throat> and invite him to come into your heart and be Lord over your life. Praise the Lord. It is that simple. Someone is blessed. Are you ready for, to pray that prayer right now? Let's write to our feet. Now repeat after me. Say, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I believe Jesus is the Son of God. Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Please come into my life and be Lord over my life. I ask you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. You see what God has done? You are now renewed. You are made whole. All of these benefits, they belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. One thing you will have to do quickly is this. Find a Bible-based church in your community and join. Go to gowartoday.com and write to us. Share your good report, your testimony with us. We will rejoice with you. We love hearing from you. And find how you can get involved in this ministry. Praise the Lord. As the Lord leads you. Thank you, Father. Now let's share the goodness, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the true fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall do it in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus Christ's mighty name.
Amen. Shalom.